Hey everyone, today I'm going to review the UG M708 pen tablet. This is an affordable tablet for beginners who want to learn digital art. At the time of this review, this is priced at US $49.99 on Amazon and sometimes they have 10% coupon code so it's really affordable. Now this is a review unit provided by UG and I didn't really want to review this because um, this tablet has been around for seven years at the time of making this video and they have version 1, 2 and 3. I'm not sure which version this is because it's not listed on the box. Anyway, I'll just review this as it is. If you take a look on Amazon, the first version has almost 2,000 reviews, the second version has almost 4,000 reviews, and I guess this is the third version. It has a handful of reviews. Anyway, the overall review for this is about 4.5 out of 5 stars. Let me just give you the bottom line up front. The main selling point of this tablet is it performs well. Um, the drawing performance is pretty good except for Photoshop where the lines have some problem uh, with tapering. And this tablet is supported on Linux. So there are Linux drivers. It is not easy to find drawing tablets with Linux drivers. So if you use Linux and you want to draw on Linux, this is something you can consider. These are the things included in the box. We have the cable to connect the tablet to your computer. This tablet does not have a screen, so you actually have to draw here while you look at your display. The cable has USB type A on one side and micro USB. You can tell the design is old and they are still using micro USB. Quick start guide, one artist glove, the pen and the stand. The pen and the stand has this plasticky feeling, but build quality is solid enough. It's matte textured throughout, no rubber grip, two side buttons here. Pen nib has some movement to it. This pen supports tilt sensitivity as well as slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Overall has a nice weight and feels comfortable to hold for long periods of time. This is not powered by battery, so no charging required. And this is the pen stand. You can have the pen uh, rest horizontally or vertically. The stand has some weight to it, thankfully. And at the bottom, there is this rubber to prevent this from sliding around. Eight replacement nibs are included, and that's the nib remover. So this is the pen tablet. It feels plasticky, but again, it's solid enough. The design does look quite dated compared to pen tablets from other brands. You can see the buttons and this part here, it's glossy. There are eight physical shortcut buttons on the side here. The clicks are quite firm, nice. There's this light here, which will light up when the pen hovers over this drawing area, which is 10 by six inches. And this is a very good size that can be paired with monitors of any size. So this tablet is quite thin and this is the back. The top here and the bottom here are tapered, so um, it's nice when you have to rest your palm here while you're drawing. The port is on the side where the buttons are. The driver is not included in the box and has to be downloaded from their website, so I've already downloaded and installed the driver. Driver functionality for Windows and Mac OS is essentially the same, except for Windows there is this additional Windows Ink functionality, which you may have to toggle on or off if pressure sensitivity is not working as expected. If you are wondering whether UG is a reputable company, well, UG is actually a very big company that makes pen tablets and displays for other companies. But interestingly, they don't sell a lot of pen tablets and displays themselves. So this driver that you see here is actually very similar to the XP Pen driver, except the graphics here are different. So here is where you can customize the pen, the side buttons, you can change the pressure sensitivity here by moving these three control points around, which is nice. Let's move over to the express keys and this is where you can customize the eight physical shortcut buttons and you can enter your own keyboard shortcuts. 
if you are using the tablet with multiple displays you will want to have one of the shortcuts set to switch display this will allow you to move the cursor from one display to the other precision mode will slow down the speed of the cursor to allow you to draw more slowly and carefully and this is the pen eraser toggle if you are a left-hander you will want to go to the work area here to change the rotation to 180 degrees so that the shortcut buttons are on the other side let's do some quick line quality test so the line is able to transition from thin to thick very smoothly and when the line turns the corner or the curves they are very smooth initial activation force is very minimal so you can draw thin lines very easily even when you have a thick brush selected and the pen is able to maintain consistent pressure easily to allow you to draw lines with consistent width lines also taper quite gradually quite smoothly the drawing surface is matte textured and the drawing surface is matte textured and has a nice tactile experience when you are drawing on it. Here is how the pen nib sounds on the surface. You can place dots easily as well. Tilt sensitivity works without any issues and tilt and pressure can work at the same time. I've tested the tablet with these apps on Windows and Mac OS. They are Affinity Photo and Designer, Krita, Clip Studio Paint, Minibank Paint Pro, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So you can expect the same drawing performance with all these apps except for Photoshop on Windows. For some reason with Photoshop, when you try to taper the lines, you can see there is this tail at the end so the lines they don't taper as smoothly compared to the other apps for some reason so is this going to be a problem well it depends on what you draw so for example if you draw cartoons or if you draw hair and you want the hair to taper nicely uh, taper with a sharp end you won't be able to do that here with uh, Photoshop and this only happens with Photoshop on Windows um, the lines they will taper very smoothly with Photoshop on Mac OS if you use other drawing apps it's uh, great because drawing performance with all the other drawing apps is fantastic this app that I'm using is Medibank Paint Pro and it works great with this tablet I was able to get the lines to come out exactly the way I expect them to drawing performance is very um, predictable there are no surprises so the overall drawing experience is um, fantastic um, I don't have any issues except with Photoshop that issue that you saw earlier the issue with lines not tapering not tapering uh, properly but if you use other drawing apps you are going to get really a fantastic drawing performance so for 49.99 US dollars um, I think it's a pretty good deal I mean the drawing performance is good it's predictable the pen is accurate there are no major glitches except for Photoshop and this tablet works well with um, all the apps that I have tested so yeah this is definitely something I can recommend easily to beginners who have a limited budget so if you are interested to get this tablet, you can check out the Amazon links that I have for you in the video description below.
Thanks for watching. I hope this review is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.